David, you um, mentioned the Burr method. Talk about that a lot. Well, the first letter in the Burr method is this letter B, which stands for buy. In today's market, in a lot of markets, in most markets, it's uh, very challenging to find the properties. What are your top one, two, or three ways for finding these properties in today's market? That's an excellent question, Jay. I'm glad you asked. So I focused on wholesaling when I first started investing in real estate almost eight years ago. And I did that exclusively for probably about three years. And the last five, I said, you know what? Wholesaling's great. It's a good place to start for a lot of people. Uh, but you get, end up getting on this transaction treadmill, meaning that once you do a deal, you got to go out and you got to find the next one, right? Well, rental properties pay you every single month once you own them. As long as you manage them properly and you keep them, you know, keep them, you know, the maintenance and the, and the property up to up to par, that property should rent. And if it's rented and you collect the rent and you can pay more than the, what you owe, you make money. It's simple. So you get to make money every day. You even get to make money while you're sleeping when you own rentals. It's amazing. So to answer your question, I have used a lot of the marketing methods that I that I was using to wholesale to locate deals today and over the last few years, really so much over the last eight that I've been full time. So those methods are simple and I could lay them out for you very quickly. So number one, I avoid the MLS. Last year, my partner and I, we bought 162 houses. We bought three of them off the MLS. So when I say I avoid it, I don't go looking there. A property could be on the MLS and an agent calls me and says, hey, this guy's motivated, make any offer, he'll take it. Well, that's great, but I don't look on the MLS for deals. And there's a, there's a very specific reason why I don't do that, Jay. And I can, I can answer that question for you if you like. But to answer your initial question is, what, what do I do to find these deals? It's direct to seller marketing. We don't go on the MLS because there's an agent in the way that's already promised the seller that they're going to do everything they can to get them the most amount of money. The motivation is not typically there. So we go direct to seller and we do that in a bunch of ways. We do it with cold calling, cold texting, direct mail, bandit signs, radio ads, online ads like on Facebook or a social media, Google pay-per-click. We network with other people and other investors that can bring us deals. Uh, we get deals from property management companies, eviction attorneys, uh, divorce attorneys. Um, I've, I get deals from my accountant because she's got other clients that may inherit a property or get a property. Uh, we get deals from all over. I mean, there is an infinite amount of ways to find somebody that is distressed. Driving for dollars is one of my favorite methods. We drive around, we look for properties that need work, Jay. And if they have a tarp on the roof or boarded up windows or a broken down car in the driveway, hey, there's probably some distress going on. So here's the thing about distress. It could be a property that's distressed. It could be a person that's distressed. And sometimes it could be both. And all we do as real estate investors, me as a landlord, but also as a wholesaler and a fix and flipper, all we do is find people that have problems and we offer to help them solve those problems. So that to me looks like convenience. We're giving them convenience. And in exchange for the convenience, Jay, we're demanding a discount. And the bigger discount they want to give us, the bigger convenience will open up the floodgates for them. So, you know, to answer your question, it's just marketing. It's direct to the seller marketing. It's not keeping your business a secret. It's so incredibly important. Tell people you're looking to buy houses. Tell them that you want the ones that need a lot of work. If your cousin is colleague at work, has a house that they need to sell and it needs a ton of work and your cousin doesn't know that you do this, you're not going to get that lead. So you got to be very, very outspoken. Tell everybody, wear t-shirts and go on your social media and post every week or two and say, I'm looking for a fixer upper. So there's really an infinite number of ways, Jay, but you got to get loud. You got to be excited about this business too.